In this video today, I will show you how you can install your own custom fonts for Final Cut Pro here on the iPad. So if you have Final Cut Pro open and you drag and drop a text here into the Final Cut Pro app and you open it in the inspector, you can change here the font. But currently it can only use the fonts that are already pre-installed on your iPad. So first of all, if we come here to our settings under general, you will find here fonts. And it would be amazing like on the Mac if we could just simply install a font straight here because we have here all the system fonts. These are the fonts that you have access at the moment in Final Cut Pro, but it would be amazing if we can also use it here for my fonts, but to actually get custom fonts, new fonts, fonts that you purchase here onto your iPad, you actually need another app to load them here into the settings. And there's two apps that you can actually use. And if you look in the internet and you look for videos, how to install a font to an iPad, because it's the exact same method to install a font to the iPad that also works now here with Final Cut Pro, you will find videos that recommended this app iPhone. And it was free until last year and it was an amazing app. I guess it still is an amazing app, but now they introduced a subscription model. So if I go now in into iFont, then I get greeted with, uh, I can have yearly access, 44 cents per week. It's 22.99 per year. And I'm honest with you, for one time loading a font, I don't want to pay 20 bucks as a subscription every year. So I was looking what kind of options we have. And when you go into the app store and you actually type in install fonts, you find many different apps, many who are also free, but have very negative reviews or are bombarded with advertisements. And so I was really looking into it that I can give you one that is free, but I couldn't really find one that is reliable and maybe also will still stay in the app store. So the one solution that I have that costs money but it's only two bucks is this one here any font that one works as well as iPhone in the past and it's already around since a couple of years and now with just two bucks this app is so much cheaper than the iPhone and it works exactly the same like iPhone and you can use it to load your custom fonts into the iPad I will show you now how this works so you have to install any font I already have it here installed so now you have to get your custom fonts. So for example, here there is a website, it's called Da Font. They have many, many free fonts that you can use. Let's say I like this Christmas rainbow here. I can download this one and download you to my app in my files. I can now open my files here, the Christmas rainbow. Then I have a zip file. I have to unpack the zip file. Now I have the OTF or TTF. These are the files that you normally have for fonts. Now I can just simply right click this one here and say share. By the way, right click is longer press. And then I can go into any font. If you don't find it here, you just have to come here to more and then any fonts will actually show up here in this list as well. So then I send this over to any font. Now I have this font here in as well, but it's not installed yet. So I click on this one to install it. Then you have the button install. So I click this. I say yes, allow that one. And now it gives me some instructions. I have to go to settings, general, VPN. We will do this immediately. So, because I have to give it permission. So I go into the settings, general, then scroll down until you find here VPN and device management. And now you see already here, that's the Christmas rainbow OTF. I want to give this access, install this one. Now I have to give in my code because no app is allowed to actually change things on the settings, but you want to install the font so that you can use it in any app, that's why. So now I say yes, install, install, and now I have this one in, in this list here as well. These are the two fonts that I already installed. And that font, Christmas, was not available before. So if I go now into Final Cut Pro, by the way, this is a good test to see if that already works or if I have to restart uh, Final Cut Pro. So if I go now in here and I type in Christmas, it's already live. I don't even have to reinstall, uh, restart Final Cut Pro, that works straight. And the cool thing about this method, this is not just for Final Cut Pro, even if it now works for Final Cut Pro, that is the exact same method with most of the apps that you use in the iPad. So for example, if I open Pages now, I can use this new font here as well. But not every app uses the fonts that you have here and also installed. For example, DaVinci Resolve has a separate folder in his directory and you have to bring in the font fonts in that folder. So you have to check the app if it's actually capable, but that is the way how you can install fonts here in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. I hope you like this. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding -ding in the bam-bang gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.